Recently, we held the 2022 Auto Guide Small SUV Comparison Test presented by NRS Brakes. One of the entrants in the comparison that had us a bit confounded was the Volkswagen Tiguan. It was a bit of a wild card. We weren't really sure where it was going to place, and after spending some time with it, we found a lot of things we did like about it and a few things we didn't. Let's take a closer look at this SUV. We want to take a second to thank our sponsor, NRS Brakes. NRS Brakes offer galvanized brake pads which use a friction material that's mechanically attached, not glued, to the galvanized steel backing plate, making them the longest lasting and quietest brakes in the market. Find out more about NRS Brakes in the link in the description below. On the plus side, the Tiguan has great front seat comfort, one of the best in this segment. The armrests are well placed, the seat is supportive, and the controls are laid out exactly where you expect them. The second row offers tons of legroom, but when the panoramic sunroof is installed, headroom is a bit tight. Some passengers may find they have to tilt their head to properly fit. And although our tester was not equipped in such a way, remember this vehicle can be had with a third row of seats, although those are suited for children at best. The interior is well designed and attractive. I like the simple and elegant theme used throughout the cabin. There's a certain German premium feel in here, but there are more hard plastics around the dashboard and doors than I expected, especially for such a nice design. Volkswagen has done a good job putting the brand's DNA into the way the Tiguan operates. Anyone who has driven a modern Jetta, Golf, or Passat will instantly feel at home behind the wheel of this SUV. The Tiguan's drive is refined and offers above average responses to driver inputs. I wouldn't go as far to say as it's a performance SUV, but it can certainly hold its own when the road gets twisty. The ride comfort does suffer a bit though, as the Volkswagen doesn't swallow up bumps as well as others in the segment like the Subaru Forester and Nissan Rogue. On the flip side, it doesn't ride nearly as harsh as vehicles like the Ford Bronco Sport or the Mazda CX-50. The only drivetrain choice is a 2.0-liter turbocharged engine that produces a mere 184 horsepower. But don't let the numbers fool you. In the grandest of Volkswagen traditions, the engine feels far more powerful than the numbers suggest thanks in part to 221 pound-feet of torque and a smooth shifting 8-speed automatic transmission. And only at highway speeds does it begin to feel a bit outmatched. But a fuel sipper the Tiguan is not. With an official rated 24 miles per gallon combined, it firmly sits at the lower end of the segment when it comes to efficiency, surrounded by vehicles with more powerful engines. In a segment where it's hard to tell one SUV apart from another, the Tiguan is a refreshing change. And no, I'm not referring to its styling, I'm referring to how it operates. It might not be the perfect compact SUV, but it is a nice alternative to the status quo. Thanks again to our sponsor, NRS Brakes. Be sure to check them out, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely ring that bell.